Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and let's play Fallout 4. Today's episode is brought to you by Asger. Thank you very much Asger for your continued support on Patreon. Very much appreciate it. So you might have noticed I actually have a new helm. Uh, we picked up a metal helm somewhere along the way in our mad looting spree last time. And I've already renamed it and upgraded it and everything. It gives us 15 damage resist and 8 energy resist. So uh, it was upgrade over the old helmet, especially because the old helmet I could not upgrade. So we're going to do the road to freedom. Uh, this one we need to go to the commons. Again, I forget where we found this one. I think it was in the commons area. I think the robot maybe told us something about it. I don't know. Found something about finding the railroad, which I think is another faction. But uh, anyway, let's go to the Boston common. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do this one. Um... Because there's no markers, so I don't know if we're just going to have to kind of look around for clues or how this is going to go. I guess we will find out soon enough. Soon enough we will know. Man, those things are nasty. Well, nasty looking. They're not really that tough. Also, it's been a while since I've played Fallout 1, but weren't the super mutants being, like, created? I think, that was, I think that was kind of like the whole bad guy of the game, right? Was finding out who's making uh, these super mutants. Hot. Are you really shooting me from... Someone's out there! Where did the little bitch go? Get wrecked. And that little bitch is right here. Ooh. I think that has a little, uh, little kill move. Damn. Uh, getting antsy. I'm actually, it was looking before I started, I was, I started to look at what our build, like what, what talent I was going to go for next. And I'm honestly not sure. I actually considered, God, you got wrecked. Shotgun shell, stim pack. Eh, we're not gonna grab any. Actually, we'll probably go ahead and start grabbing leathers again. Oh wait, no, that's the, that's the, like the undergarment. We might start making uh, leathers seem to be good for making uh, a energy resistance set. So we might start grabbing those again at some point soon here. But yeah, man, you can tell that armor it helps a lot for re lo uh, lowering the damage of these guys. Uh, I should have paid attention to what we needed. Let's go left. Oops, left arm, right arm, right leg. Sure. But yeah, I'm gonna start gathering those for energy. This is a combat zone. I think that's another quest, but let's stick with the one we're doing for not time being. Another chest piece? I don't think I grabbed that before. You know what? Just grab these. Then we won't grab anymore. I didn't really need the health, but I wanted to eat anyway. <sighs> Let's see, where are, we, where are we going? Rule breakers will be shot, or worse. Tommy's rule number two, no caps, no entries. Tommy's rule number three, no begging, no, no loitering. Tommy's rule number one, no fighting outside the cage. All right, well, whatever. So we need to find, it was near that lake, I think, was where... Mikhail. Uh oh. Let's see what this torn letter is. I always look in data for some reason. Torn letter. There's letters. This is torn. There's two of them. You know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night. Stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go into the comet. I'm going to guess that was probably him. Let's look at the other one. Gunners are moving into Back Bay. Word is they're after something in the old Hallucigen building. Keep your distance. I'm going to guess this was that one. Hmm. They didn't give me a quest or anything. Maybe it's just kind of a piece of what's going on. This guy was trying to get out, and he didn't make it. All right, so yeah, I think it has something to do with this guy. Yeah, the Freedom Trail. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the 
Freedom Trail. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through um. our great city's streets. Mr. Robot. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. All right. So let's turn our thing on red. Uh, at Journey's End, follow Freedom's Lantern. Journey's End, follow Freedom's Lantern. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Here's the red line. I see. Ah, I see. Seven and A. Some sort of code. Hmm. Let me jot this down. Seven and A. Did you write it down too, folks? We'll go ahead and write that down just in case. I might need to ask you later on. All right. Let's go on through here. Historic Nuka Cola machine. Seriously, somebody out there make Nuka Cola like all the time in those Nuka Cola bottles. I would probably buy it. What am I? This is probably shit. How much money have you spent on Fallout? A lot. More than I would feel comfortable saying. See, here's the thing. I don't feel too bad about it because I don't have a lot of fandoms that I spend tons of money on unless you count gaming in general. Which, you know, that can get a bit expensive with the, with the, you know, upgrades and stuff. Where's this going? This it? Ah, here we go. Massachusetts State, Massachusetts State House. And I'm going to admit right now, and I'm not proud of it, I don't know history, American history in particular. I don't know it very well at all. So I mean, obviously I know who like Paul Revere is. The obvious things like that. But a lot of it, I'm totally drawing a blank on. And again, definitely not something to be proud of or brag about. But uh, a lot of the stuff that it's going to mention, I'll probably be like, Duh? Really? Is there like a... Oh, here we go. Freedom Shell Marker. Four and L. Definitely a code. Oops. I wrote four and four, four and L. Okay, let's continue following the trail. If you have not watched it yet, it's... By the, again, by the time you've seen this, it will have been up for weeks, I imagine. I wish there was a bit of history, though. Like, I wish it said something here. Like, tells you a little bit about it, like the actual real-world historic significance of this building. I think that would be cool. But, um, anyway, if you have not yet, uh, I have a video posted where I basically say my first 40 hours of Fallout and my thoughts of the game so far. Go ahead and watch it. One thing that I feel like I struggle with a lot is when I'm trying to, like, say something or get a point across, I feel like a lot of times I struggle with it. And in that video, I feel like I did a pretty good job of, of saying what I meant, saying what I was thinking. And I feel like it was a... F I mean, without sounding like I'm totally... Oh, shit. Tugging my own horn or whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel like I did a good job of it. Just put it that way. Franklin. Who's that guy? Franklin... What was his name? Joseph Franklin? Something like that? Yes, no, I'm I'm kidding in this case. Oh, okay, here we go. The granary burying grounds were established in 1660, making it the oldest surviving burial grounds in Boston. Many famous revolutionary war heroes were buried here, including John Hancock, Paul Revere, Samuel Adams, and the victims of the Boston Massacre. In 2031, after the tragic death of Amelia Butler, the city council voted unanimously to have her remains interred here. Okay, cool little history again. See, I wish the other thing would have had that. If it did, I missed it, but... But yeah, I, I definitely suggest watching that video. Again, it's... I feel like I made some pretty good points. You know, obviously, again, I might be biased. 
but um, you know, we'll we'll see how I think about the game and overall. It was mostly, I mean, well, the video was mostly negative, right? Because if it was mostly positive, there's not really a lot to talk about, right? Other than like, hey, I really love this. Obviously, you could talk about what you like about the game and what you feel like did right. Isn't this the place we were before? I hear something. God, this weapon is insane. The smoke was coming from this side, but I feel like he was actually shooting from inside. We are the future. Well, I'm about to take you back to the past. I don't know. I didn't make any damn sense. Oh, I thought he was right around the corner there. That was going to be cute. Oh, ho, ho. Let's Isn't this... <laughs> Hey, I'm the oh, hey, there you are. Nice. Well, shit, we get our level faster than I thought we were. I'm gonna crit your ass. Oh, I only did the crit because I wanted to see if I made him blow up or anything, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and loot everything because I assume this quest will be somewhat short. Human time is done. This is the age of the super mutant. Yeah, sure. All right, we gotta figure out where this goes. Man, this is all, like, messed up. Uh, maybe it goes across? Look over here, see if we find anything. Not seeing anything. Hopefully you guys can see okay. I know it's kind of dark. I keep doing these quests at night, or in you know in-game night. All right, let's just assume it keeps going. Oh, here we go. Look for the red line. Kind of ducks off. It looks like it's going to the left here. Looking for the red paint too. Cause somebody painted where the line goes sometimes if it's being obfuscated. Here we go. This is a kind of interesting little quest. I like it. Like it's not, you know super straightforward. It's not super difficult either, but anyway, last thing I'll say about that was, yeah, I definitely would be interested in some feedback on that if you haven't watched it already. Uh, oh, we haven't missed any more of these. Now a six? I don't know. I hope we didn't miss any. Actually, you know what we might have? Hold on. Let me go look in front of this building. Or wait, no, it... it Diverged right before we got over there, right? Yes, it did. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty sure we didn't. We can always backtrack if, if uh, necessary. Man, frame rate's bad again. Must be this like fog effect. It's always played hell on GPUs. Built in 1713, the old state house is the oldest public building in Boston. During the years before the Revolutionary War, this building was a hotbed for the ideas and ideals that would result in revolution. It was here that John Adams said the child independence was born. In 1770, right outside its doors, the Boston Massacre took place where five American colonists died inciting rage against the British occupation. The old state house was the seat of Massachusetts government until the new state house was constructed in 1798. So, you know, and I was trying to think off camera, I was trying to think of a parallel between what your character goes through as far as waking up 200 years, like being basically being in a stasis for 200 years and waking up. It would be kind of like you meeting somebody who was like alive right before like the Civil War or not the Civil War, the, Rev the American Revolutionary War. Like, so imagine that. Imagine finding somebody like that. Like, that would be pretty, pretty trippy for them, to say the least. Not exactly, it's not exactly 200 years, but close enough to get the idea. Hello, dog. I try to kind of lead and stop 
and pace myself just so that my attack hits right as they get there, which in this case obviously did not work. Oh, there it is. The old corner bookstore. Three eye. Three eye. The old corner bookstore was originally built as an apothecary after the devastating Great Fire of 1711. Originally, the land belonged to Anne Hutchinson, the controversial Puritan who was excommunicated and banished from Massachusetts for her heretical beliefs in some sermons. During the mid-19th century, the Old Corner Bookstore was the home and the leading American publisher was home of the leading American publisher, Ticknor and Fields. They published the works of such luminaries as Charles Dickens, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Wadsworth, Longfellow, Harriet Beecher Stowe, and Henry Dave Trudeau. Many of those were frequent visitors to this site. Hmm. I knew a couple of those names. Hello, Raider. How you doing? Uh, we'll skip the rest of that. That little bit of radiation damage is bugging the shit out of me. Just FYI. I hope we don't miss any because backtracking this is going to be rough if we need to do so. But yeah, man, the rate, the frame rate. 30 something around here. Hello, super mutant. Oh shit, I, I remember this part. I'm sure you guys do too. I'll wear your guts around my neck! Ah, fucking goddamn rocket launcher. I knew he was there! That's the thing, I knew he was there. Ooh, how you like that? I like them apples. That shit behind me. Ah, man, he like knows right when you're coming around that corner, right? That was kind of bullshit. I feel like he couldn't see me, but like he knew where I was. I was able to sit around. I'm going to go fuck that guy up. I'm about over that guy's shit. Like 100% over that rocket launcher guy's shit. Because he's up there. Come on, you little bitch. You hiding over there? I bought some Timmy over there ammo, by the way. I know I leveled. Do it! Scream! Scream for mercy! Yeah, you son of a bitch. Get some jet so I can get up here before this piece of shit hits me with a goddamn rocket launcher. Killed my brother! Son of a bitch. You goddamn right I did. Human time is done! This is the age of the super mutant. Where's this where's this buddy at? I was gonna eat him, but Hurry up. I don't know where that other guy is. There's one behind me? Bleed! Bleed and die! Damn. Ooh. Is that like a Energy grenade, maybe? Oh, there he is. Motherfucker. I was just up there. You human, so stupid, so weak. I see those two down there, by the way. God damn it, that second attack after that first one is so slow. Uh, and of course, I take. God damn it. Ugh. God damn grenades! I don't know what it is, but after the power attack, your next normal attack seems to be super slow. I don't quite get that. Sometimes. But then not always, but most of the time, it's very I slow. Hear something. Look. What's that? Killed my 
No, it was a dog, but... Up a little bit, didn't it? Stop hiding behind your little guy with the goddamn rocket launcher, you little bitch. Do it! Scream! Scream for mercy! I try to use the jet. But I was using the damn stem. Stem. Rocket launchers do insane damage in this game. Holy shit. Someone there. I wish this little bitch would come over here. Stop being a pussy. Come here. I'll wear your guts around my The minute you like keep like barely peek around the corner. The guy with the rocket launcher just and nails you. Come on. You human, so stupid, so weak. Oh, shit. God, I hate how getting hit stops your power attack. This game needs some kind of uh, stat. Like, um, like, uh, poise. I hate, like, you like, it feels like it takes a day and a half to pull back for that attack, and then to immediately lose it. I actually wanted him to shoot. Whoa, get the... Whoa, what the? God damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, it paused. Hold on a second. All right, sorry. I hit too many keys. <laughs> Love how you can just like point blank shoot and like not take any damage, little prick. Stop that shit. No, oh, never mind. Now is when Dick Watt throws a grenade up here. Damn, that didn't heal me hardly at all. Holy shit. Not gonna move. Did that say four fusion cores? Or am I crazy? Where's ammo? Holy shit! That uh, that made that worthwhile. I mean, not that we're gonna use power armor a ton. But, I mean, the only reason I'm thinking about doing melee damage at all is for that. Ooh, hello. Eat and then grab that rocket launcher. Because if nothing else, the rocket launcher sells really well. But yeah, it feels like we're not healing anywhere near as much with cannibalize. Which, again, part of that is because we have more hit points. Like, a lot more. Man, the frame rate down here, seriously, is really bad. 5R. Five 5R. Five Donated to the city of Boston in 1742 by French merchant Peter Fenu. Fenu Hall was a commercial hub. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Fenu? I don't know. Hall was a commercial hub in Colonial, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I I obviously have a hard time also saying Mass Massachusetts. Mass Mass. Fuck. <laughs> in Mass, it played a notable role in the American Revolution. Protests against the against the British Sugar and Stamp Acts that began here led to the doctrine of no taxation without representation. Later meetings were held here, which culminated in the Boston Tea Party. Many of the founding fathers, founding fathers met here or gave speeches here, notably Samuel Adams, leading to the building's nickname, the Cradle of Liberty. It doesn't help that I'm reading everything terribly 
No. Oh god, please don't go this way. Oh god almighty, no, please. This place this area sucks. Hey. Major ass. Hey. I think someone's out there. Hold on. Oh shit. Just like I planned. Nice. That he crippled, not that I'm taking rad damage. Rad damage isn't rad. I think I got some squirrel on a stick. Uh, actually, one thing I found that is good about grabbing some of this stuff, like buying like those sugar pops, they actually sell fairly well, believe it or not. Uh, I'll eat this. Perception doesn't really... Super useful for me. All right. Um. Here we go. Kind of want to see where it turns in case there's another symbol, but I doubt it. So is this Freedom Trail? Somebody who knows Boston. So is this Freedom Trail like a legit thing? Is this something that exists? Or is this completely made up for the game? I mean, I presume that the game is not like a... Even if they were trying to be faithful to what Boston's really like, I doubt they were able to do like a one-to-one -one scale. No, nope, nobody here. Gonna splatter your brains! Stop! God damn! Whoa, what the f- what is that? Oh, it's a dog. I was like, it, I, from the angle I was looking at it, I was really confused. Come on. I think he's stuck. Alright, oh, hello. Get out. Yeah, I want that meat mostly. That those guys drop. It drops that uh, anti rad meat. Speaking of mutated mutant hound meats, that those rads are getting on my nerves. Oh, here we go. Eight D next. Eight D. This is actually a quest is longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, here we go. I bet there was a plaque on that first one and I just missed it. Built in 1680, this wooden building is the oldest structure in all of Boston. In 1770, this home was bought by famed patriot Paul Revere. Paul Revere dwelled here with his family, including his 16 children, holy shit, until 1800. Paul Revere was living here when he made his famous midnight ride to Lexington and Concord to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock that Redcoats were en route to arrest them and seize the, mil the militia weaponry. I want to look inside. Surely you put something special in here. Those damn dirty apes, they blew it all to hell! Damn you, you damn dirty super mutants. Relatively, uh, small abode. <laughs> Probably was looked a little bit more full when it didn't have the roof and shit blown all to hell. Wait, hold on. Screenshot time. Wait, we want to get it at a good angle. Right? There we go. 
Oh, uh, yeah. There he goes. All right. Even though I'd mostly save it in Bandicam. Where's this one? Uh, ah, this is the stop last one, I think. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. One R. Built in 1723, the Old North Church is the oldest standing church in Boston. It's 191 foot tall steeple also makes it the tallest church in Boston. Of the night on the night of April 18th, 1775, Lieutenant Colonel Smith marched with 700 British soldiers to Concord on a mission to disarm the rebels. Using a plan devised by Paul Revere, Robert Newman climbed to the top of this church and lit two lanterns to alert patriots that the redcoats were coming up the Charles River, thus inspiring Longfellow's famous verse, one if by land, two if by sea. The battles of Lexington and Concord that followed would start the American Revolution. We know how that went, eh, British people? Eh? Yeah? You guys still angry about that? I know you are. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside. Even though, what did that thing say about follow the lantern? Uh, well, there's a lantern, so I'm gonna go inside. I said follow the lantern at the end of the trail or something along those lines. It's becoming morning in game and it's also becoming morning now. It's like 7.30 in the morning on November 14th, 2015 for those of you watching far into the future. There's a ghoul that's pretending to be dead. Pretending really well. I'll give it that. But yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to build. I had... Well, well, I'll go over that once we're finished with this mission. It'll be easier for me if... Ah, uh, shit. Where's my mines? I've almost... Ah, uh, shit. I don't have any mines. I have a plasma... Ooh, plasma mine. Looks like this might be a little overkill, but... Ah, shit. <laughs> I keep forgetting they get up, like, super fast. I'm so used to, like, other, other games when you have enemies that lay down and pretend to be dead. But these guys do not F around. Did that mostly to recover from the bow hit. Boom. Oh shit. Oh. Can I? Oh, I can eat them now. Good. I mean, I figured I would. I'm waiting for the others to get up. I'm sure there'll be like a delayed thing. God, look at all that radiation already. Bull ox. I have to hit the doctor again. That freaking doctor, I swear to God, every time I go over to the to his office at Diamond City, he's not there. Pieces me off. Ah. Yeah, follow the lantern, the signal of the lantern. I gotcha. Alright. I see where you're going with this. Should realize that if I can loot them, then they're pretty dead. Uh, we're going down here first, obviously. I know this isn't the way it pointed us to, but but yeah. I, so I am going to go ahead and loot like sugar bombs and stuff because, like I said, those are worth a decent amount of money. I also did real. Oh, never mind. It does want us to go this way. Oh, what is this? I can't read it. Something eighteen thirteen, maybe. I died painting this sign. Legendary. 
shit, you were at the oh, I fucking hate that so much. Get wrecked. Jesus Christ. Instigating minigun does double damage if the target is at full health. That doesn't seem to be that useful with this gun, because like the point with the minigun is a lot of bullets quickly, right? So the very first time that very first bullet hits, it's probably not gonna do a lot of damage. Right? So that's less attractive. I don't know if that one didn't do the whole evolve or morph thing, or if we just killed it too fast. I wonder if you can do that. Like, if you kill them so fast, they don't have a chance to, to morph. George Clark, 1803. Some very, very, very old people buried here. Well, they probably weren't very, very old when they were buried, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, God. Like, that- getting interrupted from power attacks, like, is... There's just something about it that is just, like, shoving bamboo shoots at my fingernails. Since we can one-shot these, I think... That's might be a good idea. Because we can actually get to jump on them and hit them before they can hit us. Hit us. Ah. Oh, this looks... Dangerous. Ah. Thanks. Thanks for the rads, prick. Been clockwise. So that's not right. Just stuck right into the wall there. Um. Oh, okay. Spin clock, counter clock. Ah, okay. Huh. It spins. It sure does. What does it say? The Freedom Trail of Boston. Well, there's a red arrow. We can spin counterclockwise and clockwise and press. Oh, okay. All right. Wait, 7A. Oh, it's in order. Shit, we did miss at least... Ah, shit, I think we missed two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we missed one. Fuck. In fact, we missed... So we're basically supposed to take the number and do them in order. So like, one R, so that we start with R, right? You are. Oh, so it starts with R. Yeah, that's what I said. What we could do for the one we're missing. Let me try to spell it out. I want to see if it actually spells something. Probably not. But we have R and then blank. I. L. Uh. R O A D Ah Railroad, okay. So we gotta make sure not to push the button. So we need the second one is A. Oops, easy. Easy. I know violence is almost always the answer, but in this case you need to relax. Wait, is that pointing towards the A? I think so. A Damn it. Oh, shit, I can't tell. Okay, that's definitely the L. Pr pretty sure. It sounds like it's going dit 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 dit. Doing something. L. R. Let's try to center up. Because I'm still having a hard time seeing it. Let's get right up in its grill. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, okay. So we have R. O. A. D. 
empty. Aha! There we go. Nice, we found the underground railroad. I guess this closes it. No, it does just doesn't do anything. I'm gonna guess this was the breaker was added after. Stop right there. The bodies. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the oh, no. hell okay. are you? I thought there would be history questions. Um I can't answer. Here we are. Oh. Oh what? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I'm just exploring, looking for salvage. Hmm, and you just happen to guess the password to the secret door. Right. Who told you how to contact us? Uh, that I don't remember. Uh, we don't have enough charisma to make something up. I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? Jesus, I nice hair. Intel. Who is this? Wow, newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. Des, seriously, you haven't heard of her? She's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth's flying her flag. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors about them. They are synthetic humans created by the Institute. So close to real people that the distinction is meaningless. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this, your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? I gotta be honest with this one. No, probably not. No shame in that. Every person needs to know what they're willing to die for. It might be best if you kept your distance from us. Not for our sake, but for yours. The Institute wouldn't hesitate to torture and kill you for what you know. Deacon can show you out. Hmm. So I wonder if, like, maybe you could have joined them if you would have said yes, but... Eh. What do we got over here? Hold on, Deacon. Can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> you guys just hanging out in here? Come There's here nowhere again else to go. You need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Hmm. So you answered the big question and took a pass. Des is a hardliner, a live and die for the cause kind of lady. 
But the truth isn't so cut and dry. Listen, are you interested in the railroad? Learning more? Maybe joining? I thought your boss turned me away. It's complicated. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely. But we live in the real world. And here, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. So, you interested? Uh, I mean, I guess you might as well say yes. I don't dislike these guys, so we could use any lead we could, so... Sure. I'm interested. All right. Good. Let's see how much common ground we got. I get you don't want to take a bullet for a synth, but you... willing to brave some danger to stop the Institute and their nefarious schemes? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I mean, because we kind of have a common enemy, at least. We don't have a common goal in saving the synths, because this character probably doesn't really give two shits about synths, but she wants to rescue her kids slash punish the Institute. So in that effect, yes, we, we could kind of help each other out. So I'm kind of thinking that's what she's, she's thinking. Hey, relax, I'm talking. What harm has the Institute actually done to people? Starting with ancient history... They tried to take over the Commonwealth, came a hair away from succeeding with their synth army, so there's that. But in the what have you done for me lately category? Kidnappings. Wiped out a settlement or two and nasty bioengineering experiments. Diseases. FEV. The usual. So, you willing to fight them? Someone has to stop them. Excellent. Every one of us believes in synths getting a fair chance, but... Some agents aren't really risking their necks for that. They put their asses on the line to hurt the Institute. And the railroad's all right with that. Yeah, see, I'm down with that. And Desdemona is really okay with that. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help Synth? And sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. What do you want from me? I got a job. Too big for me? Just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's going to be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Nice. Okay. Oh, man, this guy's hair and glasses are killing me, though. Like, that's... Oof, man alive. But, uh... Yeah, let's actually look real quick at our perks. So I kind of can tell you what I was talking about. Um... What I was looking at was getting to Chemist. Uh, there's a few things that we can get with Chemist, uh, including some nicer, uh, even better drugs that we can make. Uh, but even the level one of Chemist gives you any chem lasts 50% longer. That's pretty damn nice. So the ones that last eight minutes normally would be like tw would be 12 minutes, and the ones that last 15 seconds would last uh, it's like 24, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 22 seconds. That's pretty damn nice. That's just level one. Level two is they last twice as long. Three is they last 150% longer. And four is they last 200% longer. That's crazy. 30 cent, or 30 cent, 30 per, uh, 30 second long slowdown plus tons of extra damage. That is super, super good. Uh, and given the amount of we use chems, it would be very, very helpful. I was also looking at possibly going woo, with uh, luck for crit. However, we're not really using vats a lot now. We're using more of our, our, our heavy attack. So we're not using vats a lot. So luck, you, as far as I can tell, you don't generate crit while you're not using vats. Uh, I think you can with this critical banker. I think you can bank it with that. I'm gonna look into that off camera. Uh, but I don't, I don't think it'd be all that, that great for that. Um, since we don't use vets a lot. Um, perception, obviously not really useful for us. 
uh, if for for anything really that I can think of. No, re other than explosives, maybe. I don't see any reason to get anything in pers per perspective. I could go ahead and start working on big leagues. Uh, I could also do. Let's see. I could do blacksmith. Though, the only the only thing that would up allow us to do that we care about is upgrading our super fist. And even then, it's not really a side grade so much as a, a or upgrade as so much as a side grade because it does less ballistic damage. But it also does, um, it also does fire damage. It also doesn't pierce armor anymore. So that's why I'm kind of not even really interested in doing it. I'd have to think about it for a while. But I mean, without the armor piercing, of course, the elemental damage is, is nice or energy damage, whatever. And there's some other, like, just kind of nice ones to get, like strong back. But, eh, that's, that's not a big deal. Life Giver, I wouldn't mind that. Again, not a big deal. I doubt I'll put more into toughness. I've talked about that just because I feel like at this point, an extra 10 isn't really that big of a deal. Um, yes, you know, after three more levels, that 30 will be a difference. But I feel like those points could be better spent elsewhere. Uh, Black Widow, again, is something else I'm considering. Due to increase in... Uh, the damage is... The damage is pretty negligible, I would say. 5% damage is, is kind of a joke. Uh, even the second level is only 10. And then I think the third is 15. I don't remember. But I thought maybe that, that for the easier chances to persuade people in dialogue. Cap Collector, if we get that at level 2, we can build bigger shops in our base. And since we're kind of trying to see all the... Uh, well, maybe not all, but a lot more of the base stuff, I might go ahead and pick that instead. Uh, medic is another thing I'm thinking about. It allow us to build a medic facility in the base, and healing more with med packs is a good thing. Um, but it, the problem with chemist, chemist would be all things considered, chemist would be my number one thing to go for because we use chem so much. However, we'd have to split five more points. In intelligence just to get to chemist that doesn't include the points of chemist so to get up to like level 2 chemist for example would take seven points that's quite a lot of points just for one perk it's a damn good perk for us but is it really worth it we'd also gain access to science which would also unlock a little bit more stuff for for base building and uh, I think armor some armor upgrades as well but I, I'm going to think about it. I might go with something relatively safe, like um, like Cap Collector, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, we'll talk about that in the next video. But uh, anyway, thanks again to Russ for your continued support on Patreon. Make sure you guys uh, leave comments hey. in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking of the series so far. And I will see you next time.